we're here on Shrimps Player, joined by uh, Chairman Peter McGuigan. Uh, Peter, your thoughts on that, firstly on the crowd and secondly on the game? Uh, the crowd I thought was fantastic. Um, Did you expect 4,000? Um, what I didn't want or didn't expect was less than 2,000 because I think that would have given us a, a different situation. Yep. Um, and really in my own heart I thought if we got 3,000 I'd have been pleased. Yep. To get 4,000 I'm absolutely over the moon. Yep. Um, but made up with the, the fact that we, we played so well in the second half. And I think going a goal down helped because, you know, in the past when we got a big crowd, we haven't played well at all, we've probably lost. Yeah. And that's the last thing we needed. Um, so Jim's obviously given them a, a few words at half time. And I thought some of the football we played in the second half was terrific. And it was interesting that at five, six minutes to go near the end, normally there's a few people drifting, drifting away. Yeah. Tonight there was nobody. They yeah. were absolutely solid behind the team. And that fed onto the pitch. You know, yeah. the players recognise that and they give that little bit extra. So I think all in all, fantastic night. So uh, looking at uh, the, the impact that it's going to have, um, obviously it's a positive thing that 4,000 have bothered. Um, Obviously, you look at it in the cold light of day and see how many turn up against Cheltenham a week on Friday, I suppose, uh, and hope that we can perhaps raise 2,000 for that game. Yeah, I, th I don't think we're just going to sit back. Uh, you know, we got a lot of information tonight from a lot of supporters as to you know, some have never been, some have been, they want to come back. And, you know, most of them um, are giving us the honest opinion of what they think. So we'll work on that and uh, you know, over the next couple of days, we've got a board meeting tomorrow and the next couple of days we'll think of how we can make sure that we get 2,000 against Cheltenham. It'll be great to get 2, 4, 2, 5, but we've got to engage the fans in helping us to do that. You know, that's where it is, you know, they've got contacts, they've got friends that probably don't want to come down. You know, talk to them and bring them down and tell them that what they missed tonight, anybody that missed it, was a fantastic game of football. Yeah. You know, Dagenham and, uh, and at Morecambe. And, and the result couldn't have been better. Three points, you know, it eases the pressure. But, you know, if we get two or three wins, I said that to Jim last week, two or three wins and we're up in the, getting towards the top half of the league. And who knows? So, uh, interesting you mentioned that uh, about the contact with the fans. I understand there's, there's quite a few of you maybe turning up at the FCOM meeting tomorrow night that's in the right. club, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Um, is there, a, is there a, an agenda behind that? Is it just to actually just get fans' opinions? That, well, I think it's to get fans' opinions and also that, you know, to ask. There's a lot going on. There, there is a lot going on behind the scenes. Um, and it, it's difficult at a football club uh, in, in our league. The average attendance in our league is over 6,000. We're at 18, 1900. That creates its own problems because at the beginning of the season you start, okay, we'll get 2,100. That's what we think we'll get. And on that basis, you put your player budget. If you're only getting 1,400, 1,500, guess what? Yeah. You struggle financially. Yeah. And it's, it's immediate. It's on the night or on the day. Your cash is gone. You expect it to get yeah. 20,000 pounds. You get eight. You know, it's instant. It's immediate. And yeah. a lot of things that we want to do you just can't do it because you're not getting that income. No. Um, you know, and particularly you know, behind the, the home end there, we're looking at plans to you know, help create the atmosphere for the fans that are in there, you know, before the match, at half time, um, and at the end of the match. And that's happening behind the scenes. We can't announce it yet until yeah. we say we're going to do it then, yeah. whenever that is. But you know, if the fans keep coming back and we're getting over 2,000, it makes it easier to do that yeah. because we have to be financially self-sufficient. Yeah. It's full, full gold, full paradise yeah. to think that you know, walking football club. You know, I'm going to put in another four, five hundred grand. Those days have gone. Yeah. You know, we came here really to be financially viable, and you know, and in 10, 20 years' time, you know. Morecambe Football Club has to be here, yeah. and, and we're now going to be making the steps to it. And I think everybody recognize, hopefully recognises that, and that's what we're trying to do. Obviously there's been a lot of uh, great PR this week, uh, there's camera crews from all over the place stood behind us now, and I've seen you, you've been doing your fair share of interviews just yeah. as Jim has. Um, so it's been, it's been a fairly positively received, the whole thing. Um, the important thing, obviously, is harnessing this positivity, yeah. and I think it's a good thing that you do in the meeting tomorrow night to yeah. carry that on. Absolutely. Uh, but like I say, obviously, the big test comes against Cheltenham. Yeah. Uh, if we can get something at Plymouth, it might come in handy, won't it? Well, I, th I think it will. I mean, you know, I'm more confident now. And, and I, you know, I was at Chesterfield, and you know, we drew one-one, but we should have played. We should have won it, you know, and, and particularly at the, the end of the night. And to come away one-one, they were disappointed. Frustrated. You know. Yeah. And the good thing about the win tonight is it lifts everybody, you know, and it gives everybody renewed energy. You know, you know, personally, that you know, if we'd have got below 2,000, you think, yeah. where do we go? Yeah. But to get 4,000, I think it's done that with the board, um, 
and to re-engage with the fans. Um, and I think a lot of good will come out of it. You know, when we first mentioned it, it was crazy. Yeah. Free admission, you must yeah. be off. But it wasn't about money tonight. Tonight no. wasn't about money. No. Tonight was about, is there a group of people at Morecambe that want to come and support this club? Yeah. And the answer tonight is a resounding yes. Yeah. We've now got to build on it. Simple. And on that note, I think we'll finish, Peter. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. My pleasure.